su Spettacolo Mania siamo con Jacqueline Mackinsood, giusto? Steffi di Beautiful, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Okay. Congratulations for your baby. Thank you so much, very excited. Okay, uh, you are Steffi in Beautiful for 15 years. Uh, the power she had uh, in uh, the Maison, the Forest and Maison, uh, it didn't uh, harden your heart uh, and uh, she suffered uh, a lot. È comunque una donna che ha sofferto nella yeah, serie. Her being co-CEO of Forrester Creations and kind of following in her grandmother's footsteps. Uh, yes, Steffi can be reactive at times, but she can't be reactive like she used to be because she is now one of the leaders uh, at Forrester and uh, she has children now and it's a little different. It's been transformative for her. So, yeah, she's, she can still be reactive as, at times, just not all the time. Lei può eh, reagire ma non come vorrebbe in realtà perché è anche madre, vorrebbe seguire le orme di sua nonna ma non ci riesce, non sempre e le piacerebbe comunque fare in un altro modo ma non sempre può. Um, you had um, a new nomination to the Time Emmy Awards uh, for Steffi. Uh, what the motivation, uh, in your opinion, uh, what do you give to, to Steffi? Oh, well, thank you, thank you, that is very, very kind. Uh, I... I, I think there's, it's also, it's not just me, it's collaborative, it's the crew, it's the, 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 the writers, the producers, everything, you know, costume, set, all of it. Uh, but it's storytelling, and uh, Brad Bell, uh, he gave me this, a few, the pieces that I submitted for the daytime Emmys. Uh, they were meaty, emotional scenes, uh, and it was my job to execute it the best way I, I could. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was the storytelling, the, sto the story, of course, and also just kind of putting myself in that place, putting myself in, in, in the shoes of what was happening to Steffi uh, and putting myself in, in that situation of thinking of this, this has happened to many people around the world. Uh, so yeah, I, I couldn't say it's just me, it's definitely collaborative. Eh, eh, non è solo un lavoro suo ma di tutta la crew e del produttore di tutte le persone che hanno lavorato per creare questo personaggio di Brad che scrive questo personaggio lei cosa fa? ci mette la sua vita immagina cosa farebbe Steffi cosa farebbe una ragazza come lei al suo posto e cerca di mettere qualcosa di suo ogni volta in ogni singola scena tu ami molto gli animali ho visto delle foto su Instagram c'è tuo figlio con un'ape sulla mano c'è il tuo viso bellissimo con un'ape sul naso e quindi volevo sapere insomma come mai tutto questo amore per gli animali, cosa fai per loro, cosa ti spinge a, ad essere così empatica con loro? Yeah, we, we live, uh, we don't live in Los Angeles, we're a little bit out and we have a lot of, of space and we wanted that for our kids uh, and we wanted to instill outdoor play and just being in nature and a love for animals and taking and giving them responsibility uh, and taking care of kind of the things that come our way and oddly enough there's always something in our backyard that we're nurturing and taking care of from you know certain birds and and then also taking up beekeeping so uh, but I was raised that way my my mom never Uh, had like these scary stories of bees. It was just, it was always a, a beautiful story and I learned to love them. So I was never afraid of them. Uh, yeah, I've been stung once or twice, but uh, it's not as bad as what, you know, unless you're allergic, I guess. But uh, no, I really wanted to instill that in my, my children, a love for bees and a love for taking care of the earth. And, uh, you know, we're all one. Uh, so yeah, there's always some kind of animal, some kind of thing that's just happening at our house, but it's fun. It keeps it, it keeps it, it keeps it fun and it keeps it, you know, I always say we're dancing in the chaos. Ti salto una particina che mi hanno, loro non vivono a Los Angeles, vivono leggermente fuori e lei ha sempre avuto un ottimo rapporto con gli animali, sua madre le ha sempre raccontato delle storie sulle api, bees, eh, che non facevano paura, lei per fortuna non è allergica e, e questo le ha permesso anche di avere, di costruire una sorta di relazione con questo animale. Uh, your first uh, time in Rome? Do you like Rome? Oh, I love Rome. I'm so happy to be here. Very grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.